Remember, after the 2012 presidential election, how Barack Obama simply could not let go of the fact that Mitt Romney got 206 electoral college votes, and how, years after that election, Obama continued to blame Mitt for every misstep he and his administration made, and how Obama kept referring to Mitt Romney as crooked Mitt. Remember that? Me neither. That kind of behavior is strictly the dominion of the adolescent in chief. Dot well, get ready for what is turning out to be the tedious next chapter in a Tolstoy-length novel of pure Hillary blaming by none other than whining Donald Trump. The president, who is such a genius he doesn't want us to see his SAT scores or grades and is so rich he doesn't want us to see his tax returns, is now so innocent he doesn't want us to see the Mueller report. But since the heavily redacted Mueller report is to be released on Thursday anyway, Trump has begun rehearsals for his latest song and dance, Blame Hillary, the musical. Dot dot that's right, the bogey woman who is so powerful that whining Donald simply cannot get free of her is back to haunting poor little Donnie's nap time once again. The strategy, cooked up by Trump and his team of blood-sucking lawyers, is to change the subject of the Mueller report to Hillary instead. Their specious rationale? According to Vanity Fair, it was Hillary all along who concocted the steel dossier by colluding with the Russians. Dot the actual truth, a thing Trump has a positive allergy for, is that a U.S. research firm, Fusion GPS, contracted former British spy Christopher Steele to compile the dossier that ended up alleging, among other things, collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. Steele's work was paid for by the Washington Free Beacon, a Republican media outfit, with the Democratic Party and the Clinton campaign picking up the tab after Trump won his party's nomination. So the Steele dossier had no pro-Democrat agenda at its inception. If anything, its antecedents would suggest a Republican bias. That its conclusions were steeply unfavorable to Trump is a problem whining Donald will have to take up with reality, a thing with which he is at continuous war anyway, so it should be familiar territory.